So yeah, I've been doing uh, embedded software development for a lot longer than I want to admit. Uh, I was at PI for six years and some other companies you may have heard of. Um, but last five years I've been doing freelance, uh, freelance uh, embedded Linux development. I specialize, as he said, in, uh, in exploiting the, uh, the accelerators that you have on SOCs, particularly the GPU and the VPU. And um, the, um, so a few years ago, I built a, my own uh, digital signage player called Lightwing. You're gonna see that mentioned throughout the presentation so you know what that is. And it started out on Windows and then I ported it you know, since I'm a Linux guy, I ported it to, uh, to embedded Linux so that I could run it on these open hardware boards like you see here with a, uh, with a MIPI camera interface. And uh, this is an NXP board. And um, I'm gonna go take you through the process, some of the things I learned, some of the pitfalls to watch out for. Um, so the... Um, and I, I guess I should mention, so Lightwing is, yeah, it's a digital signage player um, that, that, in, that combine, allows you to composite a lot of different types of media, 3D assets, touchscreen type features. And so I decided I wanted to add uh, camera, uh, you know, computer vision features to it since these processors have a MIPI interface built into them, okay? This is the MIPI camera here. It's just like the camera you'd have in a smartphone or a tablet. <clears throat> And, um, and so this is, this is kind of the process I went through. Um, and the idea was, was to, to convert Lightwing to really be a, a mixed reality type platform. So that was my motivation. 